Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mesoma channel. So uh, today we are finally going to do uh, the tutorial for the 3x3 sliding glass door. And yeah, if you uh, haven't watched it yet, the video, the showcase, uh, go and watch it. There is a link in the video description. And yeah, we are going to talk about a lot of the, the details that went into making this thing. Uh, it's pretty interesting. And I feel that I still have work to do with this thing. Maybe uh, not uh, for compactness, but for synchronization. Uh, that should make the door even better. And if I get to do it, I will post uh, another tutorial. Uh, so before starting, uh, I first have to apologize because I haven't been posting as many tutorials uh, as I used to lately because uh, two main reasons, yeah. Uh, the first one is that uh, the place where I live now is really noisy so even when I have time to record I can't because there is way too much noise and um, yeah, this sort of complicates things. Uh, now, right now, we should be listening to some background noise, and yeah, there's not not much I can do about that. And the other reason uh, is actually something that you guys can help me with. Uh, sometimes I do showcases for the videos, but I forget to make the tutorials for them because I have way too many videos. I have more than 300 videos. So uh, if you guys uh, want a tutorial for something that I forgot to make, just post comments and I will get back to that. <laughs> so with that said, let's start the tutorial. Alright guys, so we are ready to start. And the first thing we want to do is to fill up a 3x3 area with glass blocks and you can have um, the frame of your door right there. And uh, you should go 4 blocks from the glass you can place uh, nine stick pistons just like this and on the opposite side count seven blocks from this spot and place uh, nine, oops, <laughs> nine regular pistons just like so and it should look like this our input is going to be right here so place a lever uh, whatever and um, here we are going to build this uh, batter, this alternating batter. Uh, but actually this uh, one should be a slab. And place uh, repeaters here and there. And down here also redstone dust and repeat the pattern with solid blocks. And place repeaters here and here. Sorry about my voice guys. And um, yeah, there is an easier pattern, it's just like placing it one block above, but uh, it will require uh, redstone dust here in the end and we don't want that because when the door uh, is stored right there, we don't want to see any redstone or pistons, so it's seamless. Uh, and this uh, should uh, already be the closing, so those pistons should work synchronized and let's uh, start working on the harder part so we need to get those guys to make a triple extension and triple retraction and as you're going to see guys this is a little bit complicated to do since we don't have access to this area because it needs to look good all right so redstone wire solid block and here dropper oops facing this way and a hopper and of course a comparator and another one here so another dropper hopper and comparator so from this one place a repeater on three ticks redstone dust three ticks redstone dust four ticks redstone dust again and sorry guys by the background noise as i said there's nothing i can do the only option is not to record which is not uh, really an option <laughs> So uh, we need a slab here, so pay attention where we need to use the slabs because otherwise stuff will mess up. Also don't place redstone dust on top of this block, it's, uh, it needs to be clean. So redstone dust, repeater on one tick and this thing here. So uh, we also need to power um, this block so the full extension will happen and actually we need to power uh, this block, <laughs> I was mistaken. So let's take care of that. So uh, here place a redstone uh, piston facing down 
and redstone dust and you can power this with either a redstone torch or a lever uh, and here we will have a dropper connected to a hopper and yeah just make sure that this wire never uh, is never in the form of a dot otherwise this will be locked so um, comparator here of course uh, don't, don't forget to place one item inside it has to be a fern and I also think I forgot to place items inside those things so yeah one item inside each of them and solid block here redstone torch and uh, down um, there's something really wrong here yes <laughs> I forgot to place this repeater on two ticks all right so now another solid block and redstone torch and we want to make the alternating pattern once again so this one on three ticks and this one on four ticks so they will synchronize with those two up here so um, this will get rid of the glass for us so let's check it so yeah as you can see we have a 3x3 three three, our 3x3 three three frame here and uh, the glass is out of the way so all we need to do now is to take care of those guys here and as you can see we just need a few pulses now because of those repeaters we need to retract this guy here but before that grab those blocks and finally send another pulse to this roll so we can grab the final uh, yeah, the blocks for the final retraction so um, start by placing one block here another repeater solid block redstone dust and this is going to be the frame of your door them so now here another uh, repeater on two ticks and redstone dust so this is uh, get another retraction for us and uh, on this side redstone torch redstone wire solid block another torch and solid block here so let's test it Yeah, so this is the almost a complete retraction and as you can see uh, we just need uh, to fix something here <laughs> and let me just do it four ticks here and redstone oops heard some torch right there so let me see if that fixes uh, what I just did Yeah, so they are all here, so we need just one final retraction to make it work. And yeah, what this thing does, this is actually uh, very important, is uh, it will delay the last line. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just broke it. So that um, it synchronizes with the top and we just need the signal that comes from here uh, instead. It's I'm, I'm, I suck at explanations sometimes, but it's... It was a really nice trick, uh, this thing here, but I, I sure cannot explain <laughs> how it works properly. Yeah, so the last uh, retraction is actually really tricky because we don't have uh, much room to send signals, so I managed to do that uh, by sending a signal around here. So place a redstone torch here where your um, comparator output is and two repeaters on four ticks each a solid block here and uh, preferably blah, 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 blah. <laughs> use um, a regular piston here because a sticky piston sometimes causes problems with sand because they try to pull uh, it back and it has gravity and place one two three four blocks of sand here and here we will need a slab uh, and we can power this using either a lever or a redstone uh, torch, just like so. Bunch of solid blocks here, four ticks here, three ticks here, blo solid block, torch, another wire, another solid block, and another torch. So let's test it now. Yeah, and there it goes. So yeah, this final retraction uh, was really complicated to get uh, because I didn't want to go uh, beyond this spot so uh, what it does in the end is it waits uh, the proper amount of time and it will send a pulse right here 
so that this solid block will bud this and uh, two ticks later uh, this redstone dust powered by this repeater will power this block so uh, the, the extension of those pistons will update this one because it's already budded so that's why this is not exactly synchronized with those two and the signal will uh, be extinguished here but will last still two ticks here so that's why those get a little um, bit delayed so let's see it once again now that we know all that cool stuff yeah <laughs> this is how it works and yeah we uh, the intention here was to send the signal only to this piston but we cannot uh, prevent it to propagate downwards so this is very important in this case because this will delay um, this retraction here uh, enough for those guys to synchronize without breaking the extender uh, and also uh, the sand is placed here so we can cover up this and when we look inside we don't want to see any pistons or redstone dust or anything like that and yeah this looks nice here and of course I have just a lamp somewhere here so I I know that uh, this block is always, always going to be powered so you can have a redstone lamp here and also oops I changed this instead of using just repeaters I included a torch here and inverted it here so this block is always always powered and then we can have another lamp here and repeater on three ticks here and this looks amazing now because it has lamps and this one will blink ah oh, so silly so cool <laughs> yeah guys um, yeah and this was the 3x3 three three sliding glass door as you can see it works everywhere every direction uh, I tested it on bucket it works as well so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you have a nice day and see you next time